Hey guys, welcome back to a another video. Today we are to be unboxing uh, a Tyler Reese 172nd scale ISU 122. This is a Soviet tank destroyer, tank hunter better yet, of the ISU series. IS being based on the IS Isof Stalin tank chassis and you being tank destroyer, I uh, believe. A quick look at the side of the box shows in English, Italian, German, French, Dutch, and Spanish of what this is basically saying. Other side is just the tank again, where it was manufactured and sold, and all that. This side of the box shows some other kids say so. JSM, Kony Tiger, and Yak Tiger. This side's a bit broken, so I opened it because I had checked in before. And it's just how wide this model is. It is a, sorry for the focus if you can't see that, a hundred, uh, 12.7 centimeters wide. This way, once you open it, which is fairly wide. This box art looks very good in my opinion, very nicely done. It does say that this figure is not included though, but you can, I think, have the options open in this hatch. So that's pretty good. Let's take a look inside. up is take a look at these deck decals now these look very nice got some stars numbers and gemen mikor mikoriyar yana not sure what that could mean but it's a look nonetheless get the first screw Right here, now this screw contains the uh, the entire chassis as it's a tank destroyer. It has a whole chassis cannon. It's the breech is two pieces, some tools, basically all the tools I suppose, and the machine gun. Have a mounted cannon and the uh, manual itself, which is very nice. It's very small these hatches. Honestly, though, let's just look into this thing. Very nicely detailed, in my opinion. You could add more. I don't know why you wouldn't. And you could maybe add an interior showing these. Which honestly is very good. Looks very, very nice. The next screw is actually in a bag. So I'll just um, open this up. Quickly, if you don't mind. Got it. Now I only show one of the sprues as they're both identical. So both of the sprues include the uh, tracks. Now they are quite small. It's two wide ones, two half size, uh, three half size actually, and then the individuals are starting to see pretty good. I don't see why other companies don't do this, but I'm not sure how they will work as you will have to bend some of them if you want that good curve. Either wheels, got the road wheels, and final, final drive. One of these is the front one. Well, these are all, this is the front, Road wheels, final drive, idlers. You have some holding holding brackets that go around the tank. I think these are I think these here are wheel hubs, which is pretty good. Got some hooks. I'm not sure what this could be. Tow hooks. Are they, I think these are all tow hooks as looking at the box art. They do go quite around all the places where you would suspect. And then we have the oil drums. Or canisters, if you want to call it. It's pretty good. Very nicely detailed tracks, honestly. And seeing as, wait, one. Oh, this part goes, apparently, as a spare track link and two of these extras. So I think on the other screw, you have some extras tracks to this. The spare one, I think, is so good. It's actually pretty good. All right, I showed you all of this. This is the instruction. Now, the instruction starts off with this general definition of, like, what the tank is in... English, English, French, Italian, Spanish, German, and Dutch. 
And then in some extra languages down here, a very small print in warning, we have in Italian, English, Spanish, German, Portuguese, which I think this one is. Can't tell, it's quite small, no Swedish, and then Japanese. All right. Now to fold out, here obviously we can see the color schemes. They're all unknown units, but you could paint this however you would like, as I don't think. Yeah, I'll show these actually, because there's actually a lot more. All right, this here just shows all of the um, spare parts that you're gonna be using and which ones that are not to be used, which appear to be these and these two more. So you could use them for extras and spares. Right, first page is, is building it up, tracks, both sides, yeah, wheel hubs, I think. I said, no, it doesn't show it. Maybe it was, and I'm just like confusing myself. Next page here is assembling the lower hall and the upper hall. That also looks pretty good. Seven and eight is adding some extra details and building the actual gun. And the last step is building that MG, attaching everything else, and spare tracks. Now the colors are this one for 1945 Berlin, another Berlin, 4445 Poland. And then the last page is Summer of Poland. And summer 44. Dirt. These are all sad, sadly though unknown units. But you could build this as or realize I don't know how to build it. It will be a Soviet one. But that was this. It's a fairly small kit, not a lot of parts for an ISU, but it is a 170 scale, so 170 second scale kit from a Tyler Reed. I wouldn't expect much more. And honestly, it looks like a very simple kit. The entire upper hull is already built for you, while some kits require you building this superstructure and then this bathtub style, and you had to build this up, which I don't mind. I think it would add some good detail. But other than that, it's all really nicely molded. You get some somewhat extra parts, which is just tracks and um, bars, but you can add extras, and you know, this figure isn't included. I will try to include some other figures that will suit the fit for maybe partisans that have joined up with the or this Red Army tank. Now, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to buy this kit for yourself and then build it on Amazon, it had a retail price of, I'd say, around, not including shipping tax. I'm not sure what that was, but... The sale on its own was, I believe, 16 to $12, which is honestly a pretty good deal for this one thing so tank, which is honestly quite old. This one, it's one of these older uh, boxing marks, if I'm uh, aware, I'm not sure. And this is also War Games approved, so if you want to use this in any uh, war game on a tabletop game, you're free to do it, as it says, it's a... A-L-Z-Z-E-R, War Games Approved. So, yeah, you can do that. I did. I, again, I do hope you, you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Leave a comment. Share why you like this video. Maybe you want to buy it or you're an ISU fanatic or enjoyer. And if you want to see other videos of me unboxing and my older videos where I actually tried to paint, which I won't do that again. All my videos from now on will be reviews on tanks I have built and then unboxings of tanks that I have bought. Now, I'm going to be going. New video will come out besides this one, maybe next month or the month May or June. I can't say when, but I do really hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.